Hi, my name is Vanya Cadet, reporting for WMCA TV, and today I'm here to talk to you about the rise on anti Asian hate crimes. Later in the video, I'll be having three guests talking about their experiences as an Asian American in the U.S. Since the start of the COVID 19 pandemic, hate crimes targeted towards the AAPI, Asian American, and Pacific Islander community have significantly increased. The spike in racism targeted towards the AAPI community is a result of how the COVID-19 pandemic was initially covered. At the White House, you used the term just Kung thing. Flu. My question is, do Kung you think flu. that that's wrong, Kung Flu? And do you think using the term Chinese virus, that puts Asian Americans at risk, that people no, might target them? No, not at all. I think they probably uh, would agree with it 100%. So how has the increase on the anti-Asian hate crimes affected you personally? The only thing that I can say, um, it doesn't matter where you're from or what. I think to, to get this part out of the way is educate uh, the kids in school a lot more about different cultures and different countries. You, you can't say like, oh, you're Asian, so you're from China because they're Asia is a big, it's, it's a big continent and there's so many different countries there. So, you know, it's part of the educational system that you actually inform the kids in school. It does stem from a place of fear. I mean, people are afraid and I understand why they're afraid. I mean, I'm, <laughs> I was afraid too. And, you know, until things can go back to normal. It is a stressful time for a lot of people. I just think, like Kel said, it's just, you know, there's a healthy way of dealing with your fear and there's a really unhealthy, violent, um, hurtful way to express that fear. At first, I, I was thinking most of the reports, uh, kind of like what Linda was saying was like with New York and California and people were saying like, oh, it's mostly like older, vulnerable people. But then I started seeing reports of other people are just like, oh, teenagers ganging up on each other, or like just you're on the bus and someone's going to spit at you or something. And it's happening all over the country. It's not just, you know, places where there's a lot of Asian people. So it's kind of, it has made me a little more mindful. So um, how can people support and be an ally to the Asian community right now? I mean, I feel like a, a, a lot of my friends are already good at, I mean, the, you, you just treat other Asian people like you would anybody else. I mean, like you would your own friends and family, I mean, just with respect. If you hear someone say something like, you know, call them out for it. Even if it's, um, you know, uh, with good intention that they're just ignorant, they don't, they don't understand that what they said is offensive or wrong or bad or whatever, you know, just say, explain to them like, hey, that's not cool because X, Y, Z. And then, you know, you can help educate people little by little. Ultimately, everybody is a human. Everybody has feelings. It doesn't matter the color, the age. You always have to have respect towards each other. Although violence against Asian Americans is on the rise, racism is not new. Hashtag Stop Asian Hate Marches have been planned throughout the United States and Canada to spread awareness on anti-Asian hate crimes and to show solidarity with the AAPI community. This is Vanya Cadet signing off.